Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Condiment King from DC Comics, welcome to another episode of Spyro the Dragon, where we are taking on another speedway known as Icy Flight. And uh, if you think I'm bullshitting about the Condiment King thing, that is that is a legit supervillain. It's one of my favorites. Because god damn it, he's trying. <laughs> He knows he sucks. But he's doing his damn best anyway. Look at this. This place is very pretty. These guys did very, very well with night scenes. I forgot two very important things. First off. <laughs> sorry to completely destroy any semblance of flow this episode, but it's a speedway, so I can't... I can't exactly look away. There's the timer. All right. Okay. And here we go. You know what? I think... Yeah, I may as well restart, actually. Whoop! Ah, the water looks so placid. So placid and beautiful. Sorry, I, I completely forgot to do the timer and to look at today's words. One of which being placid. Very calm and serene. Such as the water in this here level. Oh god. You grab this. And we'll grab a little bit of this in our lives. Alright, so if we go the opposite way, we should run into the train faster, yeah? Yeah! We should. And we did. You guys moving around, making my job more difficult? Fuck y'all. I don't know this area very well. Oh god, it is not like the other Spyros. Yeah, I, I miss having that. I miss having the supercharge in Speedways, man. That helps speed things along if things weren't going your way. <sighs> Damn. So, we need to do lights and chests, then barrels and copters. Let's try it out. Good news is, we get to enjoy the scenery a little bit longer. If you're gonna be stuck somewhere for a while, it will be pretty. Hello, boxes. And so will you. No, 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 no. Woo. And you. And if the train's running on time, yeah, it is. Forgot. Sorry. Of course I have it. Okay, let's get rid of these. Because I would rather not be hunting these down. Okay, now as long as I can find the hole I came out of, <laughs> as long as I can find the hole I came out of, I should be fine. I just realized how how funny and wrong that sounded. No! God damn it! I was pulling up. Why didn't you pull up? God, it. You know what? It feels like the water after. Like once you get, once you get just close enough, it's like it sucks you in. That's what it feels like. Got this here. This wasn't quite the panic attack victory of uh, Wild Flight, now was it? Not quite. Not quite indeed. No! Fuck you! 
I hate that touching anything just like rockets you into the water. Oh, you gently scraped against this wall here, well down into the abyss! Gravity is now ten times what it was before, as punishment for your stupidity. Your incompetence. Enjoy the placid water and your hypothermia. Never had so little thermia in your life. Boop. And, uh, spipples. Hello, train. Goodbye, train. I like trains. Boom. And you're fucked. Hello, train friend. Goodbye, train friend. I hope I got all the flying dudes. He's the train guy. All right. Well, we'll just have to we'll just have to find him in time. Along with that flying dude that I told him. Oh wait, no, here he is. All right. So which way is the train coming? I think it comes this way, right? So if we go this way, we'll be going towards each other. Ooh. That was pretty. I like trains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If you haven't seen ASDF movies somehow, and you've been on the internet for any length of time, highly recommend you go check it out. 10,000 gems. Hell yeah. Now that is a very satisfying number to see. Okay. So with that out of the way, I guess our next destination is going to have to be Mr. Jacques himself. Please shoot them. Thank you. He turns that thing quick. Here we go. Jacques. Let's go fuck him up. Down with the French. Except you, David. You're cool. You get to survive. I really shouldn't piss off people with blackmail material. <laughs> But it suits the episode. What, am I, what else am I supposed to do? Oh, hey. I remember you lizard dudes. Only vaguely, but still, I remember y'all. Oh, I do remember those things, though. Mildly terrifying. Extremely terrifying. I didn't want to see your undercarriage. But thank you, I suppose. You know, I do remember the armored lizard dudes being a little bigger. But uh, regardless, um, so following the tradition of these levels being really weird, I give to you guys the Jacques level. Still weird. Still very, very, very weird. Go and up here. Yeah, there we go. Big go. Have at thee. Have at thee. There we go. Ooh, bounced right into the pit. How unfortunate. So we gotta find a way over there. This thing is permanently up. Hmm. Curious. Well, we'll figure it out eventually, I suppose. Hopefully we won't have to cheat for that one, huh? Like Lofty Castle. I still can't believe I misremembered that so hard. Dude, Sparks. Buddy. Friend. Brochacho. It's right there. Dude. What the hell is wrong with Sparks today, man? 
Okay, that one was on me because I didn't hover. Or, I forgot that hover's not a thing. I thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Though, should I be thanking you? I am here, after all. A destination I don't much care for. Yes! Alright, getting that a little more consistently now. Hey! Kales, yeah. Alright, so where is Jacques? I don't remember him being too far into the level. Or maybe he's just like right at the end, like Toasty. I thought he was more of a chasey guy. I have a vague recollection of what he looks like. Uh, at least from the original Spyro. I'm curious to see how he looks now. Before, he looked... He looked like a mix of these guys and the mask. With a little... little swirly thing for legs. I don't know if that's still true. Part of me kind of hopes it isn't. Alright, so even from here... Getting to that is a bit of a stretch. But... <sighs> you couldn't, uh... Couldn't climb on that one, huh, Spyro? Couldn't, uh, give me the little... Give me the little oomph I usually do. Is that too much? Is less than a foot too much for you? What do you affect? What does he affect? Yeah, maybe I should figure that out. No way. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, my brain meets is working today. Good for me. I think, I thank, and I thunk. All my way to victory this day. Didn't cheat at all. Unika. Oh, you big fella. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. I will. Play solo on the way out? No? Okay. No. Thanks anyway, I suppose. All I did was save your life. Ooh. I remember this. Uh, okay, so we just gotta carefully glide... Carefully, carefully, carefully. Nailed it! Right on! Jotacular! Yes! Oh. Spyro. What the hell was that? <laughs> I jumped. What the, what, the, what the fuck was that jump? It didn't work right. It's the controller's fault. My dad works at Nintendo. There. Thank you, Spyro. Oh boy. Please, 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 please. Why? Why don't you do the grab? Do the grab and jump. I was like on the edge. You could have reached it. it wasn't that far. I mean, far be it from me to judge anyone else's upper body strength, but... Dude. Come on now. Please, 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 please. Yes, there it is. See, was that so hard? You did it that time. Thank you. Okay, now watch this fail. <laughs> that would have been kind of... Oh, I hate that I have to drop into this now. All right. Okay, so I actually do have to glide from here. Oh, come on. Thank you. It's because I'm doing like a little bit of a turn and that's like throwing it off. That could be the case. Like it's just a very carefully calculated distance that I'm throwing off. It should just be going straight. 
Alright, so let's go through here. Wait, no, 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 not fucking... Ah. I wanted to turn, because I wasn't going to make that jump. I should have just stuck with it. The off chance that it worked. All right. Dude. Why are you allergic to grabbing ledges? They gave you this ability in this game, and it's, it's a very handy one. You should try it sometime. So I've died how many times, and we have not met the boss. There we go. God, y'all's creepy. Alright, so did we go all the way through here? I don't believe so. Let's go as far as we can go, then we'll go to the other path. Thank you, sir. Ah, we did need to open this regardless. The mushroom dude's happy. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean. Oh, that leads here anyway, right? No, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know anymore. Seems like it. Let's see what's down here. If we miss anything, we can go back. Oh no. Revillo. Any advice before this battle? Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh huh. Very specific advice. Uh so yeah, um He is more terrifying now. And much larger. And he's exactly what I promised, is he not? God, he's weird. This is why you shouldn't trust the French. I mean, look at him. Frenching it up over there. Though, I mean, he is being kind and giving us gifts. Very welcoming fella. Don't let it deceive you. And he's down. Sadly enough, probably the hardest boss in this game. Okay, so we got those. Alright, so there was a little something something we missed back there. Let's get on back. Oh, he's literally just like the last room. That's all it was. A little walk in the park with our good friend Jacques. Alright, so, Sparks, what are we missing? Ah, through there, eh? Perhaps these little friends might be able to help us shed some light on the situation. Hmm. Hmm, still through there? Be an extra little, extra little compartment I did not realize beforehand. All right, so let's flame up our friend here. Get this fella going. Then we'll take a little another look around there. Pretty generous time limit. All right, so where are we going, Sparks? Let's see downwards. Oh, there were some along the ground. Oh, okay. Gross. All right, so that is Jacques completed. I'm gonna flame you real quick. I'm gonna get you. Looks cute when he's sleeping. Anywho. Wow, so that's it for... Wow, that's that's really it for Dreamweavers. That was pretty quick. I'm I feel like I didn't do a level. I have that feeling, but I can't think of any that were missing. 
Because we did Haunted Towers, we did Jacques, we did Icy Flight, we did those two others. Huh. So that's what, two, three, four, five? It's like five, right? Huh. Yeah, Dream Okay, Homeworld, we did Dark Passage, Lofty Castle, Haunted Towers, Icy Flight, and Jacques. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, if that's the case... Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, I mean, I'll, I'll double check after the, like, between episodes just to be 100% sure, but I'm right now I'm going off the assumption that we just beat this whole level pretty quick. Yeah, did all that shit. Nice. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? All right, this is going to be our last home world that we're going to. So, Let's take a trip, and we're gonna see if it's the same as it was in the original. In the original, uh, I've been told the level was cut down a lot for some reason. And so it ended up just being an island with uh, a bunch of those dragon heads, similar to uh, the one that had Toasty's world hidden in it. I kind of like that look, though. Like, you couldn't get to one before you completed the previous one. Stuff like that. It's just like four or five dragon heads on an island. I'm hoping it's still there. Hoping it's still like that. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's the same! Hooray! This is the final world. Nice. They did add a bit more detail in the background, though. I will give them that. Um, this will probably... Ah, I'm good, dude. I just want to collect these gems that are around you. Steal your money. So, uh, I, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up this real quick. Just because, um, I don't think this homeworld's going to take too long to complete. At all. Though I think there are some gems hidden inside each of the dragon mouths, right? I think. Yeah, there's some in there. Okay, so let's talk to our dude here. Rescue Delvin. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. All right. So, ladies and gents, welcome to Nasty's World. Looks pretty damn legit, gotta say. I'm glad they kept it bare bones simple like this. Because I love the look. So I guess in the next episode, we'll be taking on Nork Cove. But that's next episode. For now, I am going to call it here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on Nort Cove. And next session, uh, we, we should finish this game. So yeah, we'll do all the levels, and I think I'll have an extra episode or two left on the docket by the time we beat N Nasty Nork himself. So maybe we'll, we'll dedicate an episode, maybe a bit longer, maybe a bit shorter, to uh, just getting all those skill points. So yeah, have a good one, y'all.